King George I from Captain Woods Rogers, July the 2nd, 1718. 62 days out of England, and in a few hours I begin my new job as Governor of the Bahamas, pledged to clean the pirates out of the Caribbean Sea. A few miles away is Nassau, the pirates' stronghold. Get on there! I have only a single ship, the Delicia. But my biggest gun is Your Majesty's offer of pardon to these lawless men. Lieutenant Beamish, you seem to be preparing for battle. Sir, we're only a few hours sail from Nassau Harbor. I said nothing about bringing powder and shot from the magazine. Well, I imagine you'd want to clean the cannon and prepare for action. Oh, action, yes. You want us to enter Nassau Harbor with all guns blazing. I oh, see, sir. It's the only language pirates understand. Mm-hmm. Is that what they taught you at midshipman school? Why, uh... Why, yes, sir, it is. Christopher. Do you ever stop to think that many of these pirates used to be honest English seamen, and many of them were held as heroes during the war with Spain? A great mistake it was too, sir. Why, most of them are nothing better than privateers. Seems time to remind you, Lieutenant Beamish, that I was nothing better than a privateer. But I don't recollect that the Admiralty let that fact bother them, when I brought in enemy ships as prizes. I, uh, beg your pardon, sir. When the war was over, you didn't turn to piracy. No, I could make my way with that. But those poor devils over there, England showed its gratitude to them by letting them rot in port for want of an honest berth. They only know one trade, so now they're using it the best way they can. That may be so, sir, but we're still charged with cleaning them out. Lieutenant, according to my latest information, there are seldom less than a dozen pirate vessels in Mass or Harbor, five times our number of able-bodied men, also a fort with half a dozen cannon. You think to frighten me, sir? Oh. Sometimes I wish I could, you know. Now, the southern coast's deserted. I'm going to land there tonight. Make your course south by southwest. Aye, aye, sir. You ought to remain aboard, in charge of the ship. I'm going across the island on foot with Benji. To Nassau? Mm -hmm. But, sir, if you don't think at all of us, with the ship and our guns are strong enough. Oh, we have a stronger weapon than cannon to use against the pirates. King George's proclamation of pardon. If we go in fighting, you know, I may never get a chance to use that. Well, I wish you luck, sir. Thank you, Ben. Uh, but, uh, suppose they don't accept the pardon. I mean, what shall I do if they hang you? Well, if they hang me, I'd be greatly obliged if you'd fly the flag at half mast. I'll take the pearls. And Tom. So you got back safely. When we lost you in the fog, we were afraid you had found it. You hoped I found it. <laughs> you will have your joke. And my share of the spoils. Your share, but I took the ship. I sighted. I gave chase. I gave the signal to close it. And I lost you in the fog. But I will take my share. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. Yeah, 
hadn't been so greedy, I might have left you, sir. One of them. 